Hi, welcome to Centerville Reports today. I'm Maureen Russell Hodson. Hang on, spring is coming. We know that because City Beautiful Commission is hosting its annual presentation. This year it's called Blades of Glory. And here to tell us more, we have Sue Jesse and Jan Prettyman, both from the City Beautiful Commission. Good morning. Hi, Good morning. thanks for being here, ladies. Thank you. So we are saying spring will be here. We know it. But, eventually. Um, yes. Eventually. <laughs> but this is a great way. Um, every year you host a workshop or a presentation. And this is a great way to really kick it off because this one will be held on March 17th. So, yes, it's St. Patty's Day, a great way to kick off your morning. Mm -hmm. That's right. Um, over we're at Centerville High School Central Theater, and these programs really give people a great idea of how to move on to the next step, right? Right. So tell us about this year's presentation. Well, this year's presentation is by Amanda Bennett, and she's with Ohio State University Extension Center in Miami County, and she's just going to tell us how to make our green space the envy of your neighborhood. Aha, uh -huh. everybody wants to be green with envy, so yes. it's not only grass, but is it Lawn care and I items like that? I think it's lawn care and grass, yeah. yes. Mm. Normally we do, it, up till now, it's been flowers. Right. You know, flowers, Floral perennials, presentation. blah, blah, right, blah, right. blah right. which is great. But you still have to have a decent looking place to have those flowers. And everybody has everybody a lawn has grass. or grass, right? right. <laughs> right. We were fortunate enough to get this lady from Ohio State to... to share her knowledge with us. So day. she's uh, very experienced. It's free, which is a great price to pay because it's um, you usually have a really good crowd come out for we these, do. right? And we want to make sure everyone waits afterwards because we've got some great door prices. Yeah, too. and that's also a nice yes. benefit. And as we said, it's at 10 o'clock. It's at Centerville High School. It's in the Central Theater. And I know you'll have directional signs, but we're showing a picture here of Sherry Lighty. So you can see when you, that was from last year, but you come in and you can register for the door prizes. Then the presentation takes place and so what um, again you can kind of see where folks come in and they're ready to learn they bring notebooks and they have all kinds of good questions and and you always have an expert and again she's from Ohio State Extension right right, right. so she's got a pretty varied background yes. on lawn that's and her specialty mm -hmm. and it's her specialty right, area right. it is okay and mm -hmm. reservations not required yeah. you can just show up that morning Yep. Yes. Register for door prizes, and they typically last about an hour. Usually, yeah, it's about yeah. an hour, and then there's a Q and A session afterwards, kind of plus or minus a few minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it turns out most of the time people have a lot of questions. And they do. At the end. They come with their own questions about their own oh, yeah. about the, with their own yard, right? And right. Then of course, she yeah. suggests things. You know, the, the speakers will suggest things during their lectures, and then people ask questions about those things as well. So it gets really interesting. Yeah. It does. Mm -hmm. And definitely very helpful and educational for people. So um, again, it's at 10 o'clock. It's at Centerville High School Central Theater. It's sponsored by the City Beautiful Commission. And so who are these City Beautiful Commission? They are beautiful people. <laughs> they are volunteers. Yes, they um, are. And you all are all appointed by our city council, right? Yes, that's correct. Uh, whoever wants to be on the commission just fills out an application, and then they're appointed by the the council and um, they have a three-year term and we're looking for new members and uh, we always say you don't have fun. to have a green thumb you right? do not have to have a green thumb and you're you're assigned a zone that you would be yours to go and look at the yards in July August and September and then also in December we have the holiday lighting award that they would go out in their own zone and look for so, so you, that's decorated. Right. The commission is so much more than than this uh, presentation. I mean, you yes. do things oh, yeah. throughout the year. It's definitely a working commission. You're doing a lot. So you had mentioned um, the, the beautification awards in the summertime, right. and those yes. kick off in July. Yes. So if you're driving past a neighbor's house or you have someone's home that you think is spectacularly beautiful, mm -hmm. you can just call the city, right? Oh, yes, please. We'd love to have nominations bring in, and someone will always check out every one. So every nomination is reviewed, and mm -hmm. then you have one winner in seven zones. Right, right, mm -hmm. right. every month. And so when and you're recognized, someone comes in. Tell, tell us what happens when that happens. You knock on a door, right? That's right. the fun part. Yes. yes. Yeah, we, you knock on the door after you've made your selection, and usually everybody is very surprised. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's a repeat, people mm -hmm. that have won before. And there is a, a period of time now that you can't win from year to year. You okay. have to, it, we have a three-year gap between win, winning now. Um, that's the fun part. And you tell them that we have selected your residents and give them their prize. 
and talk a little bit, maybe little instructions if they ask questions, whatever. And they get that but nice plaque to put in their front yard for the whole a, month, it's, right? It's a rock, actually, and it's engraved. It's beautiful. They get and, to keep that. And, yes. Right. And then the sign goes on the yard. Yeah, mm -hmm. the, the yes. signage soap. So everyone in your neighborhood will know mm -hmm. that you've been recognized. Yeah, and finally, there is a, a, there's a video done now. We've changed that. It used yes. to be a still photograph that yeah. is shown at City Council. But now... Thanks to uh, Joe McKenzie uh, right here at NBC. Right. right. <laughs> Uh, Joe goes out and videos these, and it's very impressive because oh, yes. he gets a panoramic view of the, the front. We only do the front. We judge the front of the home. Right. You don't have to be worried Not. that somebody's kind of going around your backyard. It's strictly the view from what? the, from the, from the street. street. Right. right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. That happens July, August, September. Right. Mm -hmm. And then in December, that first week of December, typically, you do lighting awards, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, we do lighting awards, and we also, uh, it's not so much all the lights, it's just how they're decorated, per se, or how the lights look. And we sometimes just come around a corner, and there's a wow factor right there in front of you, and you're like, that's the one. You know, you know it when you see it, yes, right? Yes, you know it when you see it. And then another really big event um, coming up soon is Arbor Day, yes. and that's a City Beautiful Commission event as well. Yes, this year is going to be on Wednesday, April the 18th at 11 o'clock at Stubbs Park. And along with stu uh, third graders representing all nine elementary schools, they will be helping the Commission on Public Works plant a tree in honor of their school. Now this is exciting because this year we're planting the newly designated city tree. Right. right. So for, please tell us what that is. The red horse chestnut. The red horse mm -hmm. chestnut. It even sounds lovely. I know. <laughs> that's going to be part of the 50 trees that's going to be planted throughout the city in honor of our 50th anniversary of being incorporated. Right. So we have a bunch of kids coming, and I think we've probably shown some photos, but really, that is such a fun day because these kids get to get their hands in the dirt, right? right. Yes. They, they really get, enjoy it. Yeah. They yes. really do. And yeah. the mayor gets right in there with they them. They plant right <laughs> alongside our mayor, right there. Right. There he is. Uh -huh. um, yeah. and, and again, we said this year it'll be at Stubbs Park, and that event is open to the public as well. Correct. Matter of fact, we encourage people to attend yeah. these. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Come and, and see. Um, we've got third graders. We have our public work staff. Our council is there. Of course, City Beautiful Commission is there as well. Yes. And that's... Um, do we know what area at Stubbs? I guess when you go in, you'll be able to find it pretty easily. Oh, yeah. yeah. It'll be crowded. Yeah. <laughs> and, and part of Arbor Day is in part celebration of the city being a tree city USA. Yes. This is our 32nd year. Correct. For that. And so we meet the criteria for that. But you have a pretty big announcement for next year in 2019. Yes. In fact, next year, the city and the commission will be hosting the Tree City Luncheon for southwestern Ohio cities. Now this is a big deal this because big Centerville deal. was selected, right? Right. Right. So we'll be doing it in 2019. We started planning last summer. So, And you have every, um, all communities from southwestern Ohio here mm -hmm. in Centerville? Mm -hmm. Yes. So we'll be especially spruced up for that as well. Oh, we're working on it, believe <laughs> <Yes>. me. <laughs> we have a special, we have a, a subcommittee now working on this. And then, yes. of course, the rest of the membership is involved as well. And again, that, that will be in 2019. Mm -hmm. But for 2018, will be um, Arbor Day is April 18th. It's at Stubbs Park, mm -hmm. 11 o'clock. So maybe if you take a lunch break or something, if you're out and about, it's kind of a neat place to go and walk and, and see the kids. They, they will actually plant probably about five or six trees, I guess. I think nine. It's think nine. Is it, oh, they each, they each will, each okay. School. Mm -hmm. yes. Each school gets a yes. tree. Yes. Oh. And then we'll plant other trees throughout the community. Right. Throughout the year. Right. As part of our 50th. Right. But it's exciting to have a, a, uh, an official tree now. Yeah, yeah, it I is. Had it because we have, we have an official city flower, which is the daylily. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But we, um, as a committee for the 50th, had talked about, and I know City Beautiful had talked about it. So this tree, can you describe it, what, what it'll look like for people? I know it's a flowering tree, and it's really I, pretty. I really don't know. No. Yeah, I know it's a, it's a beautiful flowering tree that I think that um, will really make a statement, and I think we'll oh, have yeah. some of those available for, right. for people as well. So. Our arborist, the city arborist, was very excited about this tree, so it's going to be a beautiful tree. And I know it's from the Buckeye family. Mm -hmm. That I do know, which, is, <coughs> which will be nice as yes. well. That's right. All right. So uh, we talked briefly if people were interested in becoming a member, but um, probably they would go to the website or we always say if, if you've been awarded a, a City Beautiful Award, that means you know a little bit about what's going on, right? Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> We'd love to have you come and join. <laughs> yes. 
basically they can go to the website and download an application, but we also suggest they come to our meeting. We have a meeting the first Tuesday of every month. In okay. fact, we have our meeting tonight for mm -hmm. March, and, um, and that way they can kind of get a feel for what the commission is all about. And then they get it approved, and uh, then they join in. And well. and you do need to be a resident of Centerville. Yes. Yes. But yes. you can. The meeting is is open. It is on the first Tuesday of each month at seven thirty. Seven. Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. Okay. The public Works Building. At, at Public right. Works, seventy nine right. right. seventy South Suburban. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and you could go meet some great people who are mm -hmm. hard workers. And I, I was thinking, speaking of hard working, one of the things that people probably don't know you do, but it's the most visible thing, I think, mm -hmm. are the Four Corners Gardens, right downtown in the center, uh, the heart of Centerville. Right. right. Yeah, every May we plant the flowers. And we've got a commission member, Bill yes, Abrams, there, there are busy is. working. Uh, right there in front of City Barbecue and Grater's Ice Cream, we plant the flowers in May, and then every member of the commission takes turns uh, weeding it and keeping it up through the summer. Mm -hmm. So yeah, they're not just planting that garden, they are maintaining it throughout the summer. Right, yes. And I know you can go down there any time of day or night, and you'll see whose ever turn it is to, to kind of maintain that to be out there working. But so. the other little garden next to Grater's yes. is also maintained by us. The one next to um, Center for the Asheville Wright House, right? That and the one by the park parking lot of graders right. we have that little strip there it's got a tree and then we plant around right that so that's, that's a lot three. of area there it is areas, yeah. and you'll plant that sometime in early may yeah it's usually, yeah, like it's usually weekend the of weekend may. after mother's day yeah Both okay and i know i know you're both um, expert gardeners so you should have your flowers in mother's day is like the Kind of the cutoff day because mm -hmm. you should have them in by by Mother's Day. No, after. Oh, after Mother's Day. Traditionally, you can see what, a, what an arborist or <laughs> planter, landscaper, or gardener I am. Because traditionally, it's thought that if we're lucky here in Ohio, yeah. what's going to happen is we won't have any more frost after that. Okay, day. right. Normally. So Mother's Day Subject is a good to marker. Change without notice. Right, right. <laughs> moment to moment here uh -huh. anymore. Right. So you, that's a good a good guideline for when you could start planting flowers. Right. Would be Mother's right. Day. You can prep your your soil and all that type in your beds and whatever before that at your leisure, yes. and then be ready to really go into it. I'm ready, Jean. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like the enthusiasm. Well, again, we want to remind you all that Blades of Glory, which I just love the title of that program, mm -hmm. is offered at. 10 a.m. on Saturday, March 17th. It is a free program at Centerville High School. It's at the Central Theater. The doors will be opened. We'll have lots of, that's a good time to actually go and meet you all as well too, if yes. people are interested right. in, in membership. We'll be there at registration table and walking around. And we'll all be wearing our little badges. That's right. <laughs> so people can identify you as well. Right. Correct. And then following that, you're invited to our Arbor Day ceremony, which is almost exactly a month later on April mm -hmm. 18th, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's at 11 a.m. Right, at, at Stubbs Park. Mm -hmm. And really, for more information, the website's a good place to go, which would be centervilleohio.gov. And you can download a volunteer application, or you can see our calendar. And both of those events actually are part of, we've incorporated those in our 50th anniversary calendar right. as well. Right. So that's pretty exciting, too. So I just wanted to ask you both if you could give us um, your best tip for a gardener, Jan. I know you're always out there busy. This time of year, what should you be doing? Cleaning up the winter mess is the first pro pro first project yeah, to get just involved everything. with. Yeah, and your soil is obviously going to be the most important part of the new plantings because of the nutrition and things of that nature. So we still advise that if you have any questions about your soil, is to get soil testing done. It can be done uh, several places, and I know the. Um, uh, Ohio State University Extension does those too. There's a fee which I'm not familiar with okay. at this point. But, but get your soil ready and clean up and anything right. else you can add to that. Clean up your tools so, and right. get ready to get out there and get good exercise, right? Get, oh yeah, great <laughs> exercise. Ladies, thanks for the wonderful information. We Thank hope you. that you will join us at the Blades of Glory on Saturday, March 17th. For more information, you can call the city 433-7151 or visit our website, centervilleohio.gov. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.